Good morning everyone! We are the Lala Move Group. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is all about Imogene Martina King and her work about the theory of goal attainment. Theory is an abstraction that implies prediction based in research. Theory without research and research without some theoretical basis will not build scientific knowledge for a discipline. By Imogene King, 1977. So let me discuss now the background and credential of Imogene King. Imogene Martina King was one of the pioneers and most soft nursing theorists for her theory of goal attainment, which was developed in the early 1960s. Her work is being thought to thousands of nursing students from all over the world and is implemented in a variety of service settings as well. Imogen Martina King was born on January 30, 1923 in West Point, Iowa. She died at December 24, 2007 in St. Petersburg, Florida and buried in Fort Madison, Iowa in 1945. King received a diploma in nursing from St. John Hospital of Nursing, St. Louis, Missouri. King began coursework toward a Bachelor of Science in Nursing Education, which she received from St. Louis University. In 1957, she received a Master of Science in Nursing from St. Louis University. 1947 to 1958, King worked as an instructor in medical surgical nursing and was an assistant director at St. John Hospital School of Nursing. The theory of goal attainment. It states that nursing is a process of action, reaction, and interaction by which nurse and client share information about their perception in a nursing situation and a process of human interaction between nurse and client whereby each perceive the other and the situation and through communication, they set goals, explore means, and agree on means to achieve goals. So, from the word goal attainment, sa theory ni Imogen Martina King ay kailangan may ma-achieve na goal, pero with the process of interaction between nurse and the client. Para maset nila yung goals and take actions and agree in means to achieve goals. This part of transaction and the patient's participation is encouraged in making decisions on the means to achieve goals. To be specific, the focus of nursing is the care of the human being or the patient. The goal of nursing is the health care of both individuals and groups. Human beings are open systems interacting with their environments constantly. The nurse and patient communicate information, set goals mutually, and then act to achieve those goals. This is also the basic assumption of the nursing processes. Patients perceive the world as a complete person making transactions with individuals and things in the environment. Transactions represent a life of situation in which the perceiver and the thing being perceived are encountered. It also represents a life situation in which a person enters the situation as an active participant, which is changed in the process of these experiences. The major concepts in Imogen King's theory of goal attainment. Concepts give meaning to our sense perceptions and permit generalizations about persons, objects, and things. There are three major concepts in Imogen King's theory, the health, nursing, and self. The first major concept in Imogen King's theory is the health. Health is a dynamic state in the life cycle while illness interferes with that process. Health implies continuous adjustment to stress in the internal and external environment through the optimum use of one's resources to achieve the maximum potential for daily living. King's theory of goal attainment identified three basic health needs of a man. First, the need for the health information that is unable at the time when it is needed and can be used. Second, the need for care that seeks to prevent illness. And the third, the need for care when human beings are unable to help themselves. 
The second major concept is nursing. Nursing is an observable behavior found in the healthcare system in society. The goal of nursing is to help individuals maintain their health so they can function in their roles. Nursing is a process of action, reaction, and interaction whereby nurse and client share information about their perceptions in the nursing situation. The nurse and client share specific goals, problems, and concerns, and explore means to achieve goal. The third major concept is the self. The self is a composite of thoughts and feelings which constitutes a person's awareness of his or her individual existence, his or her conception of who and what he or she is. The self includes, among other things, a system of ideas, attitudes, values, and commitments. The self is a person's total subjective environment. It is a distinctive center of experience and significance. The self constitutes a person's inner world as distinguished from the outer world consisting of all other people and things. The interacting systems in the theory of goal attainment. According to Imogen King, there are three interacting systems in the theory of goal attainment. These are the personal system, interpersonal system, and the social system. Each system is given different concepts. For the personal system, the given concepts are the perception, self, growth and development, body image, space, and time. While the concepts for the interpersonal system are interaction, communication, transaction, role, and stress. And lastly, the concepts for the social system are the organization, authority, power, status, and decision-making. Personal Systems Each individual is a personal system. King designated an example of a personal system as a patient or a nurse. Imogen King defines body image as the way one perceives both one's body and others' reactions to one's appearance. Growth and development. Growth and development can be defined as the processes in people's lives through which they move from a potential for the achievement to the actualization of self. According to King, the self is a composite of thoughts and feelings which constitute a person's awareness of his individual existence, his conception of who and what he is. A person's self is the sum total of all he can call his. The self includes, among other things, a system of ideas, attitudes, values, and commitments. The self is a person's total subjective environment. It is a distinctive center of experience and significance. The self constitutes a person's inner world as distinguished from the outer world consisting of all other people and things. The self is the individual as known to the individual. It is that to which we refer when we say I. The second interacting system in the theory of goal attainment of Imogen King is the interpersonal system. Interpersonal system form when two or more individuals interact forming dyads, two people, or triads, three people. So ayon po kay Imogen King, interpersonal form when human beings are interacting to each other, forming dyads when two people are interacting, and triads when three people are interacting. So ayon po kay Imogen King, interpersonal form when human beings are interacting to each other, forming dyads when two people are interacting, and triads when three people are interacting. One type of interpersonal system is the diet of a nurse and a patient. Nurse and a patient are communicating and interacting in the hospital, so it is considered as interpersonal system. Families, when acting in small groups, also be considered as interpersonal system. We are communicating and interacting with our families and friends and other people, so it is also considered as interpersonal system. Understanding the interpersonal system requires the concept of communication, interaction, role, stress, and transaction. Imogen King defined interaction as the observable behavior of two or more individuals in mutual presence. King defines communication as a process whereby information is given from one person to another person 
either directly in a face-to-face -face meeting or indirectly through telephone, television, or the written word. King defines transactions as a process of interaction in which human beings communicate with the environment to achieve goals that are valued, goal-directed human behaviors. The characteristics of role include reciprocity in that person may be a giver at one time and a taker at another time, with a relationship between two or more individuals who are functioning in two or more roles that learn, social, complex, and situational. Imagine King defined stress as a dynamic state whereby a human interacts with the environment to maintain balance for growth, development, and performance, which involves an exchange of energy and information between the person and the environment for regulation and control of its stressors. So the third interacting system in the theory of Imogen King is the social system. Social system is more comprehensive interacting systems that consists group that make up society referred to as social system. So, base po kay Imogen King, social system is formed when there is an interaction between four or more human beings interacting with each other to form a small or a large group. So, religious, educational, healthcare systems are examples of social system. Another example of a social system is this influence of often extend family on an individual's growth and development. So, within a social system, the concepts of authority, decision-making, organization, power, and status guide system understanding. The sub-concepts of social systems are power, status, decision-making, authority, organization, and control. Power Power is the capacity to use resources in organization to achieve goals. Power is the process whereby one or more person influence other people in the situation. Power is the ability of person or a group to achieve goal. Power is a social force that organizes and maintains society. Status Status is the position of an individual in a group or a group in relation to other groups in an organization. Status is accompanied by privileges, duties, and obligations. Decision-making Decision-making is a dynamic and systematic process by which goal-directed choice of perceived alternatives is made and acted upon by individuals or groups to answer a question and attain a goal. And the other sub-concepts of social systems are authority, Organization and in year 1986, King added control as a subconcept of social system but did not further define the concept. Theoretical assertion of Imogen King theory. King's theory of goal attainment focuses on the interpersonal system and the interaction that takes place between individuals, specifically in the nurse patient relationship. King's theory focuses on the relationship or communication between nurse and patient or they communicate with each other or act with each other. When we say nurse-patient relationship, it is establishing a healthy relationship between nurse and patient, where nurses help patients engage more with their own healthcare and that can lead to a better outcome in treatment. In the nursing process, each member of the diet perceives the other makes judgment and takes action. Together, this activity culminates in our action. In nursing process, kailangan ng nurse at patient na magkaroon muna ng judgment, like assessment, para makita ang pangangailangan ng patient at ma-actionan ito. Interaction result if perceptual congruence exists and disturbances are concurred, transactions will occur. System is open to permit feedback because each phase of the activity potentially influences perception. Interaction result and if perceptual congruence exists and disturbance are concurred, transactions will occur. 
the system is open to permission feedback because each phase of the activity potentially influences perception. It's about the stage ng transaction ng nurse at patient ay dapat may perceptual congruence para magkaintindihan. Ang mga tanong at mis misunderstanding ng patient ay dapat nasasagot ng nurse. Nakaka-apekto rin ang maling diagnosis ng nurse sa pananaw ng patient. Dapat willing to take feedback sa isang transaction meaning you'll meet each other request. Proposition within Imogen King's theory of goal attainment. If conceptual interaction accuracy is present in nurse-patient interaction, transaction will occur. 2. If the nurse and patient make transaction, the goal or goals are achieved. 3. If the goal or goals are achieved, satisfaction will occur. If the goal or goals are achieved, effective nursing care will occur. 5. If the transactions are made in nurse-patient interaction, growth and development will enhance. 6. If the role expectation or role performance as perceived by the nurse and patient are congruent, transaction will occur. 7. If the role conflict is experienced by either the nurse or the patient or both, Stress in nurse-patient interaction will occur. 8. If a nurse with special knowledge communicates appropriate information to the patient, mutual goal setting and goal achievement will occur. For example, may pasyente na pumunta ng hospital upang magpagamot dahil sobrang sakit ng tiyan. Kailangan sabihin or masagot ng pasyente ang mga tanong ng nurse tulad ng saang parte ang masakit May aksidente ba na nag ng sakit o ibang dahilan para sumakit ang tiyan niya? Upang maintindihan o malaman ng nurse kung ano dapat ang gawin o ibigay ng gamot upang maibsan ang sakit ng tiyan ng pasyente. Dahil kung hindi maintindihan ng nurse ang pasyente o ang nararamdaman nito, maaring mali pa ang maibigay niya na lunas dito. Dynamic conceptual system demonstrate the conceptual system that provide one approach to studying system as a whole rather than as isolated parts of a system and was designed to explain the organized whole within the nurses are expected to function. King developed a general system framework in a theory of goal attainment where the framework refers to the three interacting system, individual or a personal, social or interpersonal, society or a social. While the theory of goal attainment pertains to the importance of interaction, perception, communication, transaction, self, role, stress, growth, and development time in a personal space. She believed that her framework is different from other conceptual schema in that it concerned not in a fragmenting human being and environment but with human interaction, different kind of environment. Process of interaction. The figure represents a process of human interactions that lead to transactions. According to King, the human process of interaction formed the basis for in designing a model of transactions that depict theoretical knowledge used by nurses to help individuals or groups attain goals. So ayon kay Imogen King, Ang pakikipag-ugnayan daw ay nakakabuo ng pagkakaunawaan na kung saan ito ang ginagamit ng mga nurses upang matulungan ang kanilang mga pasyente na maatain ang goals ng bawat isa. Halimbawa, is kapag ang pasyente ay nakakaopera at nanghihina ito, dito napapasok or makikipag-interact si nurse na hikayatin ang kanilang pasyente na kumain upang ito'y lumakas para mas madali siyang gumaling at maagang makalabas ng ospital. Ano nga ba ang interaction at transaction? Interaction is a process of perception and communication between person and environment and between person and person, represented by verbal and non-verbal behaviors that are goal-directed. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, ang interaction ay ang pakikipag-ugnayan ng nurse upang malaman niya ang mga pangangailangan at kung ano ang nararamdaman ng kanyang pasyente at upang alam nila ang kanilang gagawin. Transaction is a process of interactions in which human beings communicate with the environment, achieve goals that are valued. Transactions are goal-directed human behaviors. Perception is each person's representations of reality. 
Ito naman yung pagkakaunawaan ng nurse at pasyente na kung saan dito natutulungan ng nurse ang kanyang pasyente na makamit ang goal nito, which is gumaling at makalabas ng ospital. And then we have communication. Communication is defined as the process whereby information is given from one person to another either directly from face-to-face -face meetings or indirectly through telephone, television, or written word. For example, is the communication of a nurse in a patient by which the nurse is giving instructions to the patient and the patient is responding to the, to the instructions of the nurse. And then next is role. Role is defined as a set of behaviors expected of persons occupying a position in a social system. It can also refer to the rules that define rights and obligations in a position and the relationship with one or more individuals interacting in specific situations for a purpose. For example, again, is the role of a nurse and a patient. The role of the nurse is to take care of patient. And the role of the patient is to listen to what the nurse is saying or telling them to do. And then next is what we call stress. Stress is defined as a dynamic state whereby a human being interacts with the environment to maintain balance, development, and performance. An energy response of an individual to persons, objects, and events are called stressors. Stress is the feeling of the need to response of whom you are talking with or interacting with. Growth and development. Growth and development can be defined as the continuous changes in individuals at the cellular, molecular, and behavioral levels of activities. The processes that take place in the life of individuals that help them move from potential capacity for achievement to self-actualization. Time. Time is a sequence of events moving onward to the future. A continuous flow of events in successive order that implies a change, a past, and a future. A duration between one event and another as uniquely experienced by each human being, the relation of one event to another. A space. A space exists in every direction and is the same in all directions. A space includes that physical area called territory. Space is defined by the behaviors of those individuals who occupy it. The nursing process. King gives detailed information about the nursing process in her model of nursing. The steps of the nursing process are assessment, nursing diagnosis, planning, implementations, and evaluation. During the assessment, the nurse collects data regarding the patient including his or his or her growth and development, the perception of self and current health status. Perception is the base for the collection and interpretation of data. Communication is required to verify the accuracy of the perception as well as for interaction and translation. Sa panahon ng pag-assess, kinokolekta ng NARS ang mga data tungkol sa pasyente sa pamamagitan ng pakikipag-usap o communicate. Kabilang ang kanyang paglaki, pangunawa sa sarili, at kasalukuyang kalagayan ng kalusugan. The nursing diagnosis is developed using the data collected in the assessment. In the process of attaining goals, the nurse identifies problems, concern, and disturbance about which the patient is seeking help. Sa nursing diagnosis o pag-alaga, ay ang proseso ng paggamit ng mga layunin gamit ang mga data na nakolekta. Dito na matutukoy kung ano ang problema ng pasyente sa kanyang kalusugan na kinakailangan ng tulong ng nurse. After the diagnosis, the nurse and other healthcare team members create a care plan of interventions to solve the problems identified. The planning is represented by setting goals and making decisions about about the means to achieve those goals. This part of transaction and the patient's participation is encouraged in making decisions on the means to achieve the goals. Pagkatapos matukoy ang problema sa kalusugan ng pasyente sa pumamagitan ng nursing diagnosis, ang mga nurse at healthcare team ay magsisimula ng gumawa ng care plan para malutas ang problema sa kalusugan ng pasyente. 
Implementation. The implementation phase of the nursing process is the actual activities done to achieve the goals. In this model of nursing, it is the continuation of transaction. This is the action phase wherein we actually perform those interventions to help improve our patient's condition. And lastly, the evaluation. Evaluation involves whether or not goals were achieved. The explanation of evaluation in King's theory addresses meeting goals and effectiveness of nursing care. This is where we determine in that planning phase if we met those goals or not, do we need to change things up, or did those outcomes were those met? And if not, then we are going to start over again that add-by process.